Hello, and welcome to Chateau de Lanois. We are Bradley and Eve, an English-Belgium couple who bought a chateau in the center of France to restore and breathe new life in this lovely chateau and fulfill my late mom Yvette and our dream, creating a safe haven for people and animals in need to help recover and find health and happiness again while staying at our chateau. It is a very big task fixing a chateau and we have not yet even started on the grounds and forest. Follow us on our journey as we try to bring this dream to life. Good morning. Uh, we are Tuesday. Wait, my brain flow. Yes, Tuesday. <laughs> and uh, the last few days, I'm very, very, very tired. It's not like I have COVID or something. It's just uh, for the first time, <clears throat> I. In, I think, 15 years, I went to my doctor again, and he's also a homeopath, and so he gave me um, homeopathy. The only thing I've got, it's like a monthly thing you need to take every day, some. Um, the only thing I forget, your symptoms getting worse. Not ideal if you need to do a lot of works, but seriously, I <laughs> my brain was... Um, Totally flustered. This a bit better now. Um, but the thing then, what I need to do is, um, you know, when you shut all, just put things down. Well, I do, and Brad definitely does. And you don't clean them up straight away, or just say this is going to use there or this there, as. We've been pretty busy otherwise, it's not that, it's just the last few days that I was very, very tired. And the only thing then to get order back in my brain is actually bring order in your house. What sounds actually normal, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I want to show you, I don't know if you're going to see it, a nice painting I think I bought in the charity shop. Belgium. That's one of our old ones. Um, so we've been cleaning up a lot in the tower, um, putting more, um, <laughs> help me, shelves down because the whole, and Brad said the only thing now you need is a little counter and you can be uh, uh, Arkwright. So, uh, ja, 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 check a little bit. Um, we bought a lot of paintings. I don't think we filmed it when we went to Emma's before I went to Belgium. Um, they were having like these plastic marquees and they sold all paintings and, and things. And, but a lot of them were just, it was raining these few days a lot. And, um, 
a lot of them were just getting wet and they couldn't give a fuff. So I said to Brad, try to find all real paintings and we're just going to buy them. I, 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 and they were cheap, it's not that. It's just, I don't like when somebody took care of something and took the time to, 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 to make it into something nice that they let it go to waste. I don't like it. Um, so, even though Bradley's not keen on it, I even bought the one or two upstairs. I bought this. This is like a needle point thingy. But you can see, look how it sacks. I'm probably going to have to do that totally. That was just soaked. Soaked. And I just think it's sad. We got a lot of paintings, smally ones. Oh, I can't put any light on here. Uh, <laughs> that's also, uh, what is it, needle point or whatever you call it. And Bradley likes this one because it had, I don't know if you can see, let me foot point, a chateau in it. <laughs> they not really for me that's not really tapestry tapestry is like the fine um woven thing or he brought her my last visitor i was planning not to do any christmas thing but then um, i couldn't resist at least to bring some and i go again in december so i probably will bring some more but look these are all little paintings um that we bought, that otherwise would have been destroyed. These are bought in a charity shop. They, <laughs> they're taking better care of it in the charity shop in Belgium. And uh, I think that's very nice. And uh, see, all little ones, I think they look lovely. And these are also from Belgium. Little ones, I don't like the frames, but <coughs> it's all oil paint or whatever you call it. And I got these two. I know there's a lot of work on the frame, but that's okay, isn't it? We just need to fix it. It is proper painted. Sometimes I can't see it, but Brad then uh, got better eyes than me, so nice. And that costed one or two quid each. So, I really like that, but I digress. Um, talking about... <coughs> uh, that's from our neighbour. Thank you, Martin. Very nice. And that's also from my neighbour, Martin and Mehdi. We need to polish it. Fangu! Oh, and we've got a big one here. Noise, not too bad, eh? And loads more. But I have no clue where they are. I think I already showed you that one. Am I? I don't know anymore. My brain goes weird. This I can't see it, but my neighbour and even Brad said this is probably a Behenhof in Kortrijk, where I'm from, and it's a painting on sort of like wood. Thing. And I think that was a five or something like that. So it's always nice. And then this one we bought also. <laughs> um, <coughs> and Brad said it makes it look, you know, we got two big pillars. If you can see it in one of the previous videos, I think I showed them short, or it's in a short, you can see them, a short video on YouTube. Uh, we got two pillars, big gate, and Brad said, it looks a bit like that. And that was also bought in Belgium, and when I looked at it, um, <laughs> straight away a few people came around, and when I put them separate, all on the side, start rummaging through them, and I said, oh, sorry, I just bought this. And then when I put them on the tail, somebody else also tried to buy it. So... Brad likes it a lot, and I, it's nice, but it's a bit dark, but 
I think mm, it's not bad. Uh, pardon me, and a lot of other things. I think we already showed that throne. That's the one we bought yesterday. So I think that would be nice <coughs> if we put that um, in the um, in uh, the sheet, like one in a bedroom, so they can dress or sit down. But we need to clean up and move all the things here because this is getting too stuffed for me, especially if we pass here so many times and it just stopped making me anxious and that's not the idea. So uh, in one of the previous videos I showed you they put like, uh, I'm not keen on it, they put bars just like that over it to keep them closed. What's a bit silly because they open outwards and they put massive ugly trots there. Um, so for now what I was or will do um, is um, no, of course get the curtains off. Duh. Um, give them a light sanding getting this off again these little uh, slats um, but you can see even when they did this look how much it goes open here then and this is just blowing the cold in wherever you want to I don't think that's the intention and I know we got a wood boiler and um, but uh, it's not the intention we warming the whole chateau at 21 degrees a few rooms is more than enough and this is not helping to keep the temperature that high all right let's start with that oh yeah i already showed you the better i really like this one very noise and that was another painting <laughs> okie dokie let's start eh Walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up I won't slow what I do, down what I did it screwed me from the outside. It didn't come true. Uh, <laughs> um, so they proper shut. Do you remember the big bar that was here? Just a wooden slat. That was seriously. <sighs> oh, um, so they shut, but all the little grooves, we all got to fill them up. Uh, that's inside putty that can be painted over and it's cheap one and it closes really well it doesn't crack and uh, the good thing is oh, I've got it on board. with this I had it on for a few years in Kortrijk and I want to remove it and just with a little uh, cutter knife you can open it so Seal and unseal easy. So that's what we're gonna do. Fill up all the little things. Uh, Brad gave it one coat already. It's been sanded. Uh, add one coat. So then this is gonna dry. Uh, another coat and then a brilliant, um, uh, a shiny, a shiny coat on it. And that's about it. 
think that's what we're gonna do for today. Uh, Bradley is cutting wood now. I didn't know you could make noise on a Sunday between 10 and 12. Uh, and the neighbors start making a lot of noise. And Brad looked it up. He said, why? You said, I can't not make any noise. But they changed it a lot. And between 10 and 12, you can make noise. God, well, probably means card and stuff. Um, so he's cutting more wood. So we actually got enough for the next two or three days. And tomorrow we need to go. Go into the forest again to get more uh, proper firewood, big logs. Righty tighty. Let's do some more, eh? I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without, all his eyes I can't be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind Say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I'm about to say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter. Hello. <laughs> it's a bit late to do it now, but we had. I just saw when Bradley was outside chopping wood. Um, a whole swarm of um, how do you call them, Brad? Um, starlings. Starlings. Um, seriously, it looked like there were hundreds uh, on top of our khaki tree, isn't it? Show, show how how it looked, Brad, with all the fruit on, and um, <coughs> <coughs> it hangs full of fruit. Although I complained and said it's not as much as last year, but. I don't know, that's close to a hundred kilo probably, isn't it, Brad? At least, yeah. Um, so some of them are already ripe because Brad pulled some off and... Well, I pulled one off and it, and it left half of it behind. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just get as much off now we can and tomorrow dressed. Um, so we don't uh, leave them all for the burps. Oh, it? we're going to get that off. But... Yeah. We just can get this. I have a special stick, like with a little basket on with grippers. That's in Belgium. I can't think of it work on this anyway. Oh yeah, they hang very strong, so you, you need most of them. You just need to clip them off, isn't it? Beth? I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke what it's like when nothing goes your way so i'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down yeah i am on my way up so much we already got I won't slow we're gonna spread them nice down. open now isn't it breath and until it's getting a little bit more dark because with me old eyes once it's getting half dark I, my eyesight is even worse isn't it <laughs> um oh can you see there's still pro <laughs> so many still on it that we will not be able to reach but at least what we have we have it for now yep. all right not bad for a tree there's at least 80 90. 
Yes, the tree because the tree was here in old pictures. If I found the way to put one in the corner, we will. We've got a postcard from at least the uh, the 1950s, and it shows the khaki tree and the magnolia over there is already mature trees. <laughs> so yeah, the old ladies together with the old lady, isn't it, Brad? Mm -hmm. All right, and that's the khakiing. Uh, what is the proper what is it persimmon? An English persimmon. Persimmon. All right. Three low. Bye. <laughs> the arrival of the cocky farmer. What to do? Now you put your thumbs up. <laughs> I help plucking, so he's just carrying it. Correction, he plucks. And oh. chucked. He plucked and chucked. Yes, and I caught them. <laughs> All right, let's spread them open like we did with the other ones, isn't it, Brady? And then we're gonna make jam. We've got a few more layers there to go. Bye bye, Pete. I am on my way